so I just wanted to film a really quick intro. Um, basically, today is the start of my little condensed version of Vlogmas, which is pretty exciting. So basically, I didn't start Vlogmas at the beginning of December because for the last two weeks I've just basically had finals exams and um, the vlogs would have consisted of me studying, me driving to school, and me being at school, which is not really exciting. So I didn't really want to include that, plus, you know, I wasn't with the pets all the time, so it just was a little bit difficult. So I thought instead I would just do a little shortened version of Vlogmas for you guys since I haven't posted on this channel like in forever so I thought this would be kind of fun and a challenge so I wanted to start off this vlog with just doing some pretty basic updates since I haven't really shared a lot of information of the things that's been going on with you guys so I wanted to kind of cover that first and I think I will head into the pet room for that so you can see the pets okay so I guess I'll start with the sad updates um, with the guinea pigs um, as you can probably see from the shot one of my pigs is missing from my trio so in early November, Smudge actually did pass away. It is still really, I don't like to talk about it. It's kind of, it was really, really difficult. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I usually deal with death really well, not in like a morbid way, but I mean, I just have dealt with a lot of uh, animals passing away that it doesn't affect me too much emotionally. Obviously, I'm sad, but um, yeah, usually I'm okay, but Smudge has really upset me, mostly because he was... Honestly, I know it's taboo to pick favorites with your pets, but he was my favorite guinea pig. I would even go so far as to say of all time, and I've owned a lot of guinea pigs, and he was just had such a special place in my heart. We had such a connection. So I'm sorry about the lighting change. My camera actually just died, so I don't know how much I got of the last clip, um, and it's a bit later now, and it's gotten darker in my room, obviously, as you can tell. So, I believe I left off talking about Smudge and what happened with him. He actually did pass away of an aneurysm. Um, it was a very different sort of passing because I basically brought him to the vet thinking that I would have to get him euthanized. And right as we had made the decision to get him euthanized, he actually passed away in my arms in the vet. Which was... It was it was hard, but I mean, in a, looking back now, I am... I am like happy that that happened because I got to spend you know the last moment with him which I think is really important and just very heartwarming to me so yeah if you didn't know Smudge was my rescue pig and sorry these guys are being Felix has been kind of crazy since Smudge passed away they're doing well but Felix has just been very uh, saucy I guess I don't know he just has a lot of attitude lately so yeah he's being kind of difficult to get along with obviously I also briefly touched on this in one of my previous videos, but I never really addressed it completely, but Pebbles, my Peruvian long-haired guinea pig, passed away at the end of August. I didn't make a tribute video or anything, mostly because, again, it was kind of a difficult passing, like smudges, mostly because I actually was traveling a lot in August, so I didn't spend a lot of time at home, and... I didn't get to say goodbye to Pebbles before she passed away. I mean, as soon as I heard she was sick, I tried to make it home as fast as I could, and we just weren't fast enough, and I didn't get to say goodbye. And that's tough. That's a tough situation in and of itself. Like, it, it's just a different situation where you can't care for a sick guinea pig, and I don't know. It just wasn't, wasn't what I wanted, obviously. So now it is just the two boys. I'm sorry it's so dark. Jeez, I wish my uh, camera didn't die. But uh, yeah, it's just Coco Bear and Felix. They have the cage themselves. And again, they're they're doing well. Felix did have a problem with his nail. Basically, his nail kind of got caught on something and uh, got pulled out. But I brought him to the vet and they were able to clean it. And he was on antibiotics. It's not infected or anything. So he's on his way to recovery. And Coco Bear is doing fine as well. She <laughs> Hi, Coco Bear. He looks so fuzzy right now. Because he got a haircut a little while ago, but that's Coco for you. <laughs> Very cute. Now, I actually do have some good and exciting news, which is actually that I got a new pet. And I never told you guys about this, and I never announced it on any social media. Basically, um, we have another guinea pig, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Now, I know for a fact you're not going to be able to see him very well because he is so dark. He is basically a full black guinea pig. He has a little bit of uh, some blonde, like a blonde stripe sort of thing, but uh, he's 
definitely very dark and uh, you won't be able to see him in this lighting but I but I promise to show him better in vlogs coming up when the lighting is a bit better so this is Snickers I know you guys can't see him at all which is so sad because he is literally the cutest guinea pig ever but he is he loves this little cuddle cup by the way um, he is about a year old and I actually got him from a lady that I used to work with we both really loved guinea pigs and um, she actually has all female guinea pigs and she had this little guy and then she just texted me and asked me if I wanted another male guinea pig to try with my group of boys and at the time when I got him Smudge was actually still alive and I did try and bond this guy, his name is Snickers, um, to the boys but it did not work because Felix and Snickers did not really like each other He's a really, really cute guinea pig, really nice, however he's really uh, skitsy and as you can see he's getting a lot better. Um, I mean if I had put a camera in his face like a couple months ago he would have totally ran away like he was so, so skitsy. But now he takes treats from my hands. Actually, I have a treat right here. You can't really see, that's so bad, oh well. Anyways, you guys will be able to see him more. And we also have another animal that you won't be able to see, which is Eddie. She just looks like a black blob right now, but uh, she's doing well. She's... Hi, sweetie. Yeah, she's doing well. Um, Having a little bit of digestive problems, but other than that, she's fine. I'm so sorry you guys can't see it. I know I keep repeating that, but it kind of sucks. Hi, sweetie pie. Yeah. So, um, Eddie's doing fine, and you guys will be able to see more of Snickers in upcoming videos, uh, when the lighting is better. He's really great, and I don't know exactly, at this point, um, what's gonna happen with the living situation. I want to maybe try and bond Coco Bear and Felix with him, but him and Felix just don't get along for some reason, so it might be kind of a, a tough bonding bonding session. Oh, that's him. It's so nice having a... What are you saying? It's so nice having a young guinea pig again because I'm so used to like the old guys and having a young one you forget how energetic and popcorning and you know all the like squeaking and stuff. It's just really adorable. He can sense Coco Bear. He really loves them as you can probably see, you know, he wants to go see Coco Bear, but, um, yeah, Coco Bear knows I gave him a treat, that's why he's over here, but, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen with that, I just know that, you know, he's in a better situation now, because at least he does get to see the other guys, <laughs> he really loves them, he, and I possibly might get him a friend, I don't know, we'll have to see how the whole bonding session plays out, but, uh, Anyways, I got a cuddly rabbit on my hands right here. She just wants snuggles. So this is what the weather is looking like right now. Pretty insane. Super snowy out. Uh, a lot of snow is falling. Not even picking up on the camera, to be honest. But yeah, it's like almost like a whiteout. Pretty cool. Let me know down below if it snows where you live or like it snows a lot where you live. Because like I live in Canada. I mean, I live in pretty southern Canada, so the winters aren't too, too bad. But, um, you know, school is never canceled. We never have snow days or anything. And I know, like, in a lot of states and stuff that, like, if it snows just a little bit, like, all schools are canceled, like, school buses are canceled, all that stuff. So it's kind of interesting. Or maybe it doesn't even snow where you live, to be honest, if you live somewhere hot. Uh, that's just so crazy to me since, I don't know, snow has always been, like, part of the wintertime. Like, I can't think of winter without having some snow, right? <laughs>